you're choosing between Tesla Powerwall 3, Enphase IQ 5P, and Franklin A Power 2 in 2025, one of these could cost you thousands in missed earnings. I'll show you exactly which battery maximizes your ROI in your state, plus give you the calculator I use with my clients to prove it. But first, if you're watching this in August 2025, there's a critical update that just changed everything. VPP programs are exploding nationwide, with new pilots in states like Texas and Arizona offering bigger payouts than ever. As a matter of fact, Arizona just approved its BYOD pilot, and ERCOT expanded virtual power plant eligibility to 15 more co-ops. This changes battery selection for many of you. Stick around and I'll cover how these could slash your payback time in half. Most homeowners choose batteries like they're buying a car, biggest capacity, best brand name, done. That's a $15,000 mistake. Because here's what the sales guys don't mention. The best battery on paper often earns the least money in real life. Here's a quick snapshot of these three batteries detailing their key specs. Starting with Powerwall 3, it features 13.5 kilowatt hours of usable storage, cranking out up to 11.5 kilowatts continuous AC power per unit and it gulps down up to 20 kilowatts from your solar panels via its built-in inverter. In plain English, it's a beast for quick charges and heavy loads. Warranty, 10 years with full depth of discharge flexibility, meaning you can use every bit without worry. Next, Enphase IQ Battery 5P. This one's got a 5.0 kilowatt hours usable per module, delivering about 3.84 kilowatts continuous power. Stack them up for more muscle. The standout? A rock-solid 15-year warranty covering up to 6,000 cycles, perfect if you're building your system piece by piece. And then my personal favorite, the Franklin A Power 2. This packs approximately 15 kilowatt hours usable per unit, with 10 kilowatts continuous output, spiking to 15 kilowatts for 10 seconds. And you can scale up to 15 units. That's a massive 225 kilowatt hours under one controller. 15-year warranty or 60 megawatt hours throughput, lithium iron phosphate chemistry, 90% round trip efficiency. Okay, here's where things get personal. The best battery depends on your state and its programs. The winner in California shocked even me, and I've installed over 200 systems there. Let's break it down for the 12 states we serve at Integrate Sun, Texas, Arizona, Nevada, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Washington, DC, South Carolina, and California. Watch for our on-screen map and links to make this super easy to follow. We'll group these by three big opportunities. States with cash-paying VPPs, states with juicy rebates, and states where TOU savings rule. Number one, VPP hotspots, Texas, California, Arizona. In Texas, VPPs like Tesla's deal with GVEC pay you to share battery power during peak demand. Our Austin client, Mark, earned $1,100 in April with one Powerwall 3. California's PG and E slash SCE ELRP adds a $2 per kilowatt hour bonus during events, so high output batteries like Powerwall 3 shine. Arizona's APS is rolling out a bring your own battery pilot for paid dispatches. More cash coming soon. Second, rebate heavyweights, Colorado, Maryland. Colorado's XL offers $350 per kilowatt up front, up to $5,000 plus bill credits, slashing payback time. Maryland's new RCS grants in 2025 replace old tax credits, making batteries more affordable. Finally, the TOU and Demand Charge Champs, Nevada, Florida, Pennsylvania, Georgia, South Carolina, Oklahoma, DC. Nevada's power shift pairs batteries with off-peak charging for savings. Florida's Duke Energy pilots reward battery owners, while Pennsylvania, Georgia, South Carolina, Oklahoma, and DC lean on TOU rates and utility perks. Check DSIRE for your local deals quick favor. If this is clicking for your state, hit that like button. It helps more folks find this. So which state are you in? Drop it in the comments and I'll reply with a quick tip for your utility. Let's see how these batteries handle real world loads. First, a four ton air conditioner pulling about 3.5 kilowatts. One Powerwall 3 can sustain its full 11.5 kilowatt output, running that AC for two hours and still leaving three hours of backup. The Enphase 5P needs three modules to match the load, which drains them in two hours with no reserve left. Franklin A Power 2 handles two hours and still has an hour of reserve remaining. Okay, how about charging a Tesla Model Y at 7.2 kilowatts? Well, Powerwall 3 delivers the full 7.2 kilowatts for about 28 miles of range per hour. 
For end phase, each 5P module caps at 5 kilowatts, about 20 miles per hour. Again, you'd need two modules to match the Model Y's charging rate. But this beast of a battery, Franklin of Power 2, it supplies the full 10 kilowatts continuous, giving you nearly 40 miles of range per hour. Finally, dispatching 9.7 kilowatt hours during a peak VPP event. Powerwall 3, with its 11.5 kilowatt inverter, empties in roughly one hour. The 5P stack, three modules at 3.84 kilowatts each, takes about two and a half hours to dispatch the same energy. Franklin of Power 2's 10 kilowatt output also finishes in just over one hour. And remember, Powerwall 3's 20 kilowatt DC solar input means it refills fastest between back-to-back -back events, maximizing your earnings. Our Mesa, Arizona customer Jennifer K saved $1,847 in just four months with two of Power 2 units, mostly from demand charge reduction. Let's talk money, how do these batteries save and earn? Time of use savings are simple. Shift energy to off-peak hours to dodge high rates like 4 to 9 p.m. in California, which can be 50 cents per kilowatt hour higher. For VPP earnings, use this formula. Dispatchable kilowatt hours per event equals usable capacity times one minus your reserve percentage times round trip efficiency. Per event payout equals your event incentive rate plus export rate times the dispatched kilowatt hours. So if you dispatch 9.7 kilowatt hours at a $2 per kilowatt hour incentive plus a $1 export rate, that's about $29 per event. Multiply by your number of events, say 10 this summer, and you're looking at roughly $290 in VPP revenue per Powerwall. We've linked a Google Sheet in the description so you can plug in your own rates, your own event count, and see your personalized ROI. Quick favor, if this is helping, hit that like button. It genuinely helps more homeowners find this information and I read every comment. Still unsure? Here's your decision cheat sheet, a two by two matrix to nail your pick. Pause here to soak it in. High VPP earnings plus big loads, choose Powerwall 3. It's 11.5 kilowatts and fast solar refill maximize event cash. High VPP earnings plus normal loads. Choose end phase 5P. Modular growth and a 15 year warranty keep it flexible. Low VPP earnings plus big backup needs. Go for Franklin A Power 2. Scales to 225 kilowatt hours for multi-day power. Low VPP earnings plus budget focus. In phase 5P is a good pick. Start small, add later, save big. Here's a controversial take. Enphase's 15 year warranty sounds great, but their 5P modules have 30% less energy density than Powerwall 3. In states with export limits, that's leaving money on the table. The solar industry won't tell you this because Enphase pays higher dealer margins. But I'm not here to sell you what's profitable for me. I'm here to maximize your returns. At Integrate Sun, we size your battery for power, storage, and solar refill using your real rates. Grab our free ROI sheet and math card below, plug in your numbers. Comment your state, utility, solar size, and EV miles. I'll reply with a custom estimate. Subscribe if this helped, share with battery curious friends, and book a free 10-minute consult below to map your setup. Which batteries your vibe? Tell me below.